Hans and Sophie Shaw, were a brother and sister who were members of the White Rose, a student group in Munich that was active in the non-violent resistance movement in Nazi Germany, especially in distributing flyers against the war and the dictatorship of Adolf Hitler. In post-war Germany, Hans and Sophie Schall are recognized as symbols of German resistance against the totalitarian Nazi regime. In February 1943, three young men, Hans Schall, Alexander Schmorl and Willy Graf, were on their way into Munich city center. All three belonged to the Weiss Rose group which had dedicated itself to resisting Adolf Hitler's regime. The three men were carrying thousands of leaflets that listed the crimes of the Nazi regime. The students threw the pamphlets into mailboxes, hoping to appeal to people's humanity. But Schall and Schmorl had devised an even bolder plan. In the darkness of night, they painted the words down with Hitler on the facade of the Bavarian State Chancellery. They were yet more courageous elsewhere, writing mass murderer Hitler on another wall. The path of resistance. Hans and Sophie Schall lived with their family in the southern German city of Alm when National Socialists took power in 1933. Both children were still in school at the time. Hans was born in 1918 and Sophie in 1921. Their father, Robert, earned enough to support his wife, Magdalena, and five children as a tax advisor. A liberal man, Schall did not approve of Germany's new leader and he and his wife taught their children the importance of tolerance. The Schall children, however, were fascinated with National Socialism. Hans quickly made a name for himself in the Hitler Youth. At the age of 16 he commanded a group of 160 boys. Sophie also expressed a sympathy for National Socialism. She joined the Union of German Girls, a Nazi youth organization for girls. Like her brother, Sophie soon had a leadership position in the group. Her contemporaries would later remember her as being very enthusiastic, very fanatical about National Socialism. By 1942, Hans and Sophie would no longer be counted among those supporting Hitler and his regime. The siblings took notice of how their Christian faith and moral convictions were not in line with the goals of National Socialism. Hans became convinced that he needed to do something against the Nazis. In 1942, Hans was called to the Eastern Front where he and other medicine students would experience the inhumanity of war for three months. He is also said to have been extremely concerned by the fate of deported Jews. A group willing to protest against the Nazi government formed around Hans at Munich University in 1942. Four medicine students, Schall, Christoph Probst, Schmorl and Graf, and philosophy professor Kurt Huber formed the core of the group. Sophie would join them later in the year when she moved to Munich to study biology and philosophy. The group called its publications Flyers from the White Rose and left the pamphlets in public spots. With the help of other resistance groups, the Flyers, which included denunciations like every word that comes from Hitler's mouth is a lie, were also distributed outside of Munich. The White Rose's sixth pamphlet would be its last. On February 18, 1943, Sophie and Hans were distributing the flyer at the university. Both of the siblings were discovered and arrested after she was caught throwing a pile of pamphlets from a balcony into the square below. The Gestapo, or secret police, 
than interrogated them. Even in these desperate circumstances, both Hans and Sophie attempted to convince authorities that they had worked alone. Sophie told her interrogators that she did not want to have anything to do with National Socialism. Evidence against the pair was regarded as sufficiently incriminating, and on February 22, 1943 a so-called People's Tribunal led by Roland Freisler sentenced Hans Schall, Sophie Schall and Christoph Probst to death. They were executed a few hours later. Hans' last words were, Long live freedom. They were executed by guillotine on the same day their sentence were given, in the Stadelheim prison. The Schall siblings are still honored for their courage. Their names adorn schools in nearly every German city, and public squares and streets across the country have been named after them. A prize bearing their name is among Germany's most distinguished literature awards. Thank you for watching Death Row.